these are fifty dollars each and they like there's an estate sale today i went to with a lot of yadro and go bell um figurines little pieces those are sell for pretty good money and they're pretty much asking top dollar for them i have a little clip that i could show you guys to let you guys see what these things are especially if you find them like in a thrift store or somewhere where it's significantly underpriced as a typical little collectible thingy you might get them for two three five bucks and like really okay how much these are fifty dollars each yeah five zero each so if you haven't seen the video a few weeks ago I picked up like a thousand bucks worth of stuff at on a Saturday for the yard sale so kind of like push my mentality a little bit as far as how much I want to make when I go out but it's not always like that today I probably made about two three four hundred I really don't know I've been out all day had some cool finds like this thing right here it's a Gibson guitar bag Paid two dollars for it. Comps are about fifty bucks. So, so I was just on my way home right now, and I ended up passing not one but two yard sales that are not on the map. And um, I, that's against my rules. I can't just like drive past yard sales, especially if they're not on the treasure map and they have a ton of stuff out. So, let's see what I can find, y'all. So that worked out that really worked out so this big old bag right here is full of bubble wrap i paid five dollars for that that was a great deal and hold on you guys so everybody always saying go to the good areas but right now i am not in a good area these sbs right here were three dollars act with these no these were two dollars these fryer boots made in usa can't get it out the bag so you know i gotta clean them off a little bit but fryer boots made in usa three dollars um these vans or not vans adidas two dollars i haven't looked none of this stuff up but can't lose on it best stuff i found all day so okay so this pair of nikes uh what are these called dunk low pro nike sbs i picked them up from a yard sale really crazy because it was late in the after well afternoon two o'clock you know people be out since six seven eight doing the yard sale so um this was this yard sale was not on the yard sale treasure map the lady only charged me $2 for these shoes. She told me I missed out on a bunch of them. That somebody came and took a whole bunch of Nike shoes. So, sorry. But it was worth it to still be out at this time. I just so happened to get lucky to be driving down this street. There's two yard sales right next to each other. Pulled over, picked this up. I just listed it on eBay for $150 or best offer. I listed it on offer up for $150 firm. Shipping nationwide. And I listed it on Poshmark for 175 because on Poshmark shipping is included in that. And so there we have it. Nice find, Nike SBs. So this is, I believe, a vintage pair of fry boots. I listed these for $50. I paid $3 for them. So, yeah. Made in USA. Okay, so this is a mid-top pair of Adidas Match Court. Mark Johnson, nice, I cleaned them up. And I paid $2 for them, I listed them for 35 So in, in addition to a couple of good things that I got to resell, I picked up this metal rack right here um, for 15 bucks at a yard sale towards the end of the day. I took it apart there, brought it here, put it back together. Yep, it's cool, huh? 
found this pair of baby Doc Martens. They're really cool color. Um, it's kind of a rare color. I picked them up at a yard sale for $5. I'm going to list them right now for 50 with free shipping. So right here is a pair of red wing logger boots. I did recondition these, the leather myself on these. And I picked them up from a yard sale. I got a bundle deal for 40 with this. Um, another pair of shoes and some NES video game cartridges. So I got 120 for these. I actually shipped out those other pair of shoes. They sold for 20 the other day. And I still have the video game cartridges. So this here is a Gimos lightweight leather jacket. It sold for $60, $60 plus shipping through the Glo global shipping program. Nice uh, lightweight leather jacket. So this here is a Eddie Bauer Goose Down puffer jacket. I picked it up from the Rhodium Flea Market. I paid ten dollars for it and I accepted an offer on it for thirty-four dollars plus shipping. So I found this here Universal Remote MX nine hundred at Goodwill on Dollar Day for one dollar. It sold for thirty-three ninety-nine with free shipping. Shipping out first class for about five dollars. So this here is like a vintage youth snowboard i picked it up a while back at a goodwill for eight dollars it sold for forty dollars i accepted an offer forty dollars plus shipping so i'm going to be shipping this out tomorrow so this is a pair of jbu like comfort shoes it's a large size for women i picked these up for a dollar at goodwill for um dollar day and they sold for 14.99 plus shipping I picked this up from a yard sale for $1. It sold for $16.99 with free shipping. Shipping will be about $4. I picked up this Apple Power Core from Goodwill on Dollar Day. Paid a dollar for it and it sold for $20 plus shipping. So I just bagged up this. It's a cord that goes to a Macintosh, Macintosh Power Book. Um, I picked it up from an estate sale. It was just kind of thrown into a bundle. So I would say I've got about a dollar into it. So for 17 with free shipping, shipping is going to be about 4 to $5. Recently picked up this pair of Sabago Dock Sides from Goodwill. It was Black Friday. I got them for a dollar. They sold for $7.75 plus shipping. So I just listed this pair of, it's called J Shoes. And it's a nice pair of like boots, kind of chukka boots. Listed them for $29.99. Um, I got them from Goodwill for one dollar on Dollar Day. So this here is a pair of UGG Australia men's chukka boots. It's a size 14. They're in pretty good condition. I picked them up from Goodwill on Dollar Day for one dollar. I just listed them for thirty dollars plus shipping. I picked these up from Goodwill for one dollar on Dollar Day, and I listed them on eBay for twenty nine ninety nine. And since I only have one hand, check this out make and then the other one says money so cool pair one dollar flip see what i could get for it another shoe i picked up on dollar day savants it's like a huge size like i believe it was like a it's a size 15 so i listed these for 29.99 got them for one dollar on dollar day so this is a pair of chest fab knee high boots lace up and everything Got them from Goodwill for $1, listed them on eBay for $22.99 plus shipping. The good thing about doing this for me is that I don't come from a, a background job where I'm making like a whole ton of money. And on top of that, my expenses are, are really, really low. And my appetite for spending, like buying stuff, pretty much only exists for reselling and buying a house for my family. So it's pretty easy for me to make money like this. It's not always gonna be like killer days, like thousand dollar Saturdays, even though that's what I like want and expect and like train my mind to want. And that's why I'm still out here yard selling. But think about it. I left the house at about eight in the morning. It's like 12 now. That's, that's like four hours of searching for stuff. It's like not a bad thing to be doing. Not a bad service to be providing, finding stuff for people. You see all these cars and stuff, people in the house. So 
actually being out on the road and finding stuff and putting them on the market helping a mailman fedex ups and them make a little money too and get the stuff right to people's doors <clears throat> we're basically bringing things from local markets to broader markets and can having them delivered conveniently to the customer stores with all types of guarantees and stuff like that so it's a great thing to be doing i feel satisfied got this husqvarnia here today i got a music box it's a mr christmas music box and i got i believe i got about 10 to 15 of those discs that come that uh go with it different music disc so funny story as i show you guys this sewing machine here so i'm still learning the whole yard sale sourcing thing so a few things i could tell you guys that i've learned so far is sometimes when you're the early bird at the yard sale the sellers don't really know what people are willing to pay for their stuff and it's early in the morning and so they're anticipating a lot of traffic so their prices might be a little bit higher so this place I actually went one of the first places I went to and they wanted 75 for this and I asked about a couple other things all the prices were too high for me so I left came back and I ended up getting it for 40 and it is now 11:30. so you know all these people came in and I'm pretty sure plenty of people asked about it so and then on top of that when people are giving you a price when you look up comps on stuff try to not only look at you know the comps but kind of look at how the item was sold so for this just because I, I asked her like do you have the power cord for it and she didn't she then realized I need to drop my price significantly um, the other thing that I was going back for to check on was a PlayStation 3 they were asking for 50 bucks for it no power cords no cables no controllers no games with it they wanted 50 bucks for it I don't know how much they sold it for but um, yeah it was gone it was a lot of people up in there and they were just kind of overwhelmed and they didn't have anything pre-priced so they're just throwing out prices everywhere but you didn't have much negotiating power when they have a room full of buyers versus like now when I go in there and there's only one other person there so and it always helps to kind of slow down and kind of get out of the hustle mentality for a minute and just be a person and try to have fun I feel like the sellers could pick up on it and then um, you know you kind of vibe with them and they'll be more willing to negotiate with you and sometimes I didn't do any of that today but sometimes also it's helpful to let people know why you're not willing to pay their price because you don't want to offend them right and it's simple that you're a reseller and you're looking to make a little bit of money you're willing to buy bulk if you know you could get the right prices etc etc whatever you got to say but um, and, um, I appreciate you guys watching this hit the like button for me if you don't mind and if you want to kind of see how this story continues to play out, um, as I learn, you learn. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to share as much as I can. I'm still working on my video style, and I'm pretty sure that sooner or later, I'll be able to put out three videos a week. And then as my sales and stuff pick up, maybe I'll be able to do daily videos. But I'm not going to waste you guys' time showing you guys videos of like stuff that's sold for five and ten dollars all the time every day unless you guys like videos like that and you just still want to have the opportunity to see but it, it does take some work to make good videos so i want to make sure that um i'm putting out good videos like interesting content and just solid videos so uh We'll pause it here.